Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On this week's video, I'll be reviewing Ultraman Agul V2 from the line Shodo Volume 7. So since last week I made a video on Ultraman Gaia, it makes sense if I make a video on Agul as well. So let's start off with the box art. So here's the box up close. As you can see, there are multiple figures can be seen illustrated on the box. Ultraman Agul, Zofi, Hikari, and also Mephila Sejin. This here I believe stands for Ultraman Shodo Volume 7. And we have the red Bandai logo here. More Japanese description. At the side, we have a Japanese description as well. And at the back, we have the lineup for this uh, Volume 7 Shodo. There are only 5 boxes in total. Agul. Hikari, Zofi, Mephila Sejin and all these special effects with Ultraman Agu Stream, Hikari Kosen, Zofi Kosen, Mephila special effect and two pairs of hand that belongs to Ultraman Agul and Gaia. Here's more illustration. So at the other side we have more Japanese description. At the bottom more Japanese description. And finally at the top we have the illustration of the figure right here. So yeah that's pretty much it for the box art. Let's move on to the unboxing and figure. So guys, here's the figure out of the packaging. As you can see for yourself, it is absolutely beautiful. I am really loving this line. But I'll be collecting only my favorite, which is Ultraman Gaia. So Agul is in the series, so I have to get him just to, you know, complete the feeling of Ultraman Gaia. So for the design of this figure, ah, I love it. It's fully molded on the figure. You can see for yourself all the lines there are completed. I am in love. For the coloration, as you can see, it is much brighter than the Ultraman Agul soft vinyl. It is much more similar to the Ultraman Agul V2 suit here by the Converge line. And it, it also has a very metallic silver, which I really like. And for the Agul Breaster, the golden is also metallic, has a metallic finish. And for the black part, it's just a beautiful matte, matte finish, which is fantastic however this figure here just like the previous one is not fully painted at the back however there are partially you know parts that are being painted for example here at the thighs and the uh, bicep area which is really nice so i wouldn't say that it is much better compared to ultraman gaia however maybe slightly better yeah slightly better of course as for the clear part i'll bring it up close to you so as you can see for the eyes, uh, it has a very light yellowish color. It is also translucent. It is pretty hard, so I believe it is epoxy. And as for the color timer, let me try to get some lights in it. So there you go. You can see the color timer is much brighter here. It is very hard to make it, you know, focus in on the camera because to you it just look like a dark, a black opaque color. But it's not actually, as you can see there, I'm trying to get some light in there. There you go. It is a light blue actually for the color timer, which is really nice. If in person, if you see this in person, it is very visible, unlike on camera. So yeah, it's a shame I can't really show it to you guys. As for the crystal on the head, it is not a clear part, but it is nicely painted with like a very glowish blue but uh, yeah glossy blue sorry glowish what is that is that even a word i'm not sure so now we'll go to the articulation so right now we'll be talking about the articulations let's start off with the head the head can tilt upward this much so i would say that it is much better compared to ultraman gaia because there's actually a space down here that they cut it out compared to gaia it can't really tilt up this much so yeah that's a vast improvement and Ultraman Agul can tilt downward this much 
360 rotation because it's on a bolt joint and going on to the hands the hands can move up mm, almost 90 degree i would say yeah a little bit less than 90 degree a bicep swivel a single joint elbow which could rotate awkwardly this much to the back <laughs> A 360 rotation for the hands because it is on a circular peg. And as for the chest, it can move a very nice range of motion. According to me, of course. Uh, lower abs, yeah, a very nice range of motion. And going downwards to the leg, Aku can kick this much upward. More than 90 degree, I would say. And backward this much because of this buttocks area here again <laughs> and outward this much almost 90 degree so for the articulation at the knee it has a single joint only so yeah only one direction as for the feet you can rotate them 360 because it's on a bolt joint so yeah that's pretty much it for the articulation now let's move on to the accessories So for the accessory of Ultraman Agul Volume 7, it is included with three pairs of hand which is the close quarter combat, the normal open grip hand and the chopping pairs of hand. Next we have the Agul Stream special effect which is absolutely captivating. I really like this effect, it is much longer compared to Gaia special effect for Volume 5 which is fantastic, I love it. So this is not from the set but if you remember previously I told you that Agul Saber from Volume 5 can be used with other Ultraman Agul figure. So yeah here it is absolutely stunning very very nice. Next we have the Gaia and Agul winning pose and this is supposed to be used with Ultraman Gaia Supreme from the P Bandai set however that set is too expensive so I'm just glad that it works with the V2 from Volume 5. And finally, we have this extra hand for Ultraman Gaia. I'm pretty sure this is from the episode where Ultraman Gaia is being abducted. So Agul also returned as Agul V2. Very cool. So yeah guys, that's it for the accessory. So now I'll be sharing my thoughts on the figure. This figure here is actually absolutely fantastic to be collected. The Lion Shodo. I am really impressed with the articulation that this figure could achieve. The accessory is, you know, it has a wide range of accessory which is very fantastic. I love it. Um, the only thing that I hope they improve in the future is the, you know, of course, the coloration, the detailing on the back of the figure. You know, if it's fully painted, it's gonna look much better. But again, you can't argue this is a, you know, candy toy figure, so it is what it is. I'm not sure if I want to disturb with the you know value by detailing the back of this figure because Shodo is quite hard to obtain, especially Ultraman, you know, uh, Gaia, the TDG. So yeah, that's why I'm in you know a dilemma whether I should detail it or not. So we'll see in the future. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please do hit the like button, comment down below your thoughts on this figure and don't forget to share this with your friends and family. And if you're new, why not support my channel by subscribing and hit that notification bell for a brand new video every single week. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe.